What's up? What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Shortport. DJ LeMayhew, six years, 90 million, staying in the fucking Bronx, never a doubt. Alongside Tommy Smokes, TJ and the Wonders Two's emergency podcast. Marty Mush commuting in the office. He told us he jerked off when he heard the news. So that's just imagine that, I guess, when you when you listen to this. But DJ staying. I can keep my brain and my semblance, my fucking mind. I don't have to lose it. We're back. We actually got a deal on our own guys. Six years for 90 million is the best deal you'll ever get. No one else was gonna get him. He was our guy. Fuck the Mets. We are the better team no matter what. Six for ninety. The- Six for ninety. It's a big sigh of relief. Uh, I feel I felt more relieved than anything. That was my number one is, all right, like it was expected to keep DJ. We're keeping DJ. The thought of having to do this podcast, an emergency podcast like this. Kill myself. With him going to the Blue Jays mm-hmm. or somewhere else. Suicide. Yeah, that would have been the most suicidal podcast we've ever done. And we've done quite a few suicidal podcasts. So uh- I'm, I'm just glad that it's that's that's taken care of. Now let's go get better. Holy shit. The whole dragging this out, you know, I, and I never really believed he would go anywhere else. Um, I thought he, you know, he's just so much loyalty here. Um, he loved his two years here. He doesn't take, he, I don't take him for a guy who um, would want him to just pick up his life and move elsewhere, especially during a pandemic. I feel like he's just like too lazy to do that. He has his house down in Tampa. So convenient to spring training, you know, obviously all, uh, all that. He's just so comfortable here. Um, but obviously as the days go on, that, that, you know, the thought of him being back certainly gets smaller and smaller and the chances get smaller and smaller. But um, his agent did what he did. Um, got him his 60 – he wanted years over annual uh, AAV, which is – I'm completely – listen, man, anyone – and I, I don't think there's too many people out there, but there are definitely a few who were against uh, giving him these years – Pull yourself together. Rearrange your brain. Figure it out, pal. Six years, 90 million for a guy who just finished top five in the AL MVP voting the last two years, um, who I have called one of the best hitters in the history of the franchise. And I stand by that. And he put him in any decade. He just blows everyone away. Um, if, he hit, if he played with Babe Ruth, he would hit 700 uh, with their pitching. But anyways, 15 million a year. And it, it's so big just for Cashman and the Yankees, because if they want to stay under that true 210 number luxury tax, this gives them a little little wiggle room to do that and go get a starting pitcher, go get a reliever, um, 15 million a year. The, he's also, in my opinion, yeah, people are like, oh, he's 32 years old. He's not fucking like Albert Pujols at 32 or like A Rod. You know, like he he's not gonna his power. He's, he's not, not a power, power hitter. He's right? Not a power hitter. He's not a speed guy or whatever like Jacoby. L. You know, he's a guy that he's just a hitter, and hitters hit. If you look through like history. You know, Derek Jeter hit late to his 30s. Pete Rose played till he was like 55 years old. Yeah. Basically, like hitters just hit. So I'd much rather have 690 with the low value than like 480. No question. And like there was a, there were, you know, the new, original news comes out at 6 a.m., which is so rude for me because I am the opposite of a morning person. Like the, like I go to sleep at 3 a.m. every single night. I'm up, you know, I doing work or watching TV or whatever. And then I wake up usually around nine ish, nine thirty, and get and get going. Six a.m. I woke up at nine, and I'm like panicking, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" But could you also imagine if you wake up at, um, you know, like after the report in the morning, and it was like DJ Suns with the G, the Blue Jays or something like that? Yeah, then no. I'm just going to bed for the rest of my life. I'm just gonna. I'm not talking. I'm throwing my phone out the window. I'm just you know moving to another country. Sure, now. Yeah, seriously. Um, but six for ninety is just I can't. That's well done by Cashman. Um, cause I feel like at the end of the day, he didn't, I mean, he clearly didn't care about the years if he goes six years, you know, like four was like what they were stuck on for a while, but he was clearly set on, let's get this annual, uh, AAV number down. Um, if you want your years, they come to an agreement, DJ wants to stay here, retire a Yankee. The fact that DJ is going to retire Yankee is just so happy. It's just such like a nice, like good. Everyone just, it just worked out so nicely for everybody. Um, and I'm ecstatic. And the, yeah, the, and what'd you say, TJ? Someone said that they're looking to sign. Uh, was it Feinsand or Bowden said like they're. Yeah, he said us. on uh, on MLB radio that <laughs> like 24 to 48 could be the move for a starting pitcher. Right. And they, yeah. the the rumor is um, Kluber's going to make his decision by the end of the weekend. Um, he threw the other day, went well. Um, he's been doing his rehab with Cressy. Um, obviously has a history of Matt Blake. Um, there's a lot of things that tie them together. Um, 
would love that. I think that's a good, that's a rock solid move. Obviously a little um, scared about the shoulder, you know, pitchers with shoulder injuries, a little scary, uh, but uh, I'm a big fan of Corey Kluber. And if he's, you know, the bot, he, bring the bot he, back. Need, like Kluber and somebody else. Kluber Definitely. isn't, you know, Kluber of five years ago. Where Kluber and Massa. Yeah, I mean, I would do that. Yeah, I think that would that would be my plan. I mean, there's also a few starting pitches out there. I get so many fucking phone calls throughout the day from people talking about the warranty on my vehicle, and I don't have a vehicle. And it's every single day, a hundred fucking calls from a five one six number, my area code. It's just fucking infuriating. If I don't have your number, I hit reject every time. And yesterday I did it to Vin Dog, and I don't have his number. And the poor guy texted me afterwards, like, "Hey, I was wondering if I get my blog up." I'm like, "Oh, fuck, my, my bad." Um, I rejected his call immediately. Um, but yeah, no, I'm ecstatic. Uh, you can't wipe the smile smile off my face. Um, and meanwhile, the the Mets doing this Brad Hand thing. You see that where like one one uh, there's yeah. like a source off going on with them, and that's hilarious in itself. I, I did one, I did one Brad Hand. Um, but uh, I mean, I, I I'm ecstatic. If you're worried about the the years, get a hold of yourself. He's 32. He's gonna age like fine wine. 15 million a year is a bargain, in my opinion. Uh, the Yankees win this trade, and so does DJ. He gets his years. So I think both sides are pretty happy. Yeah, I mean, there was no way. Yankees could have convinced themselves or the fans that they were a, a better team this year without DJ. They're now that was that was just retaining. Oh but- wait, sorry, real quick, clapish. I'm hearing Yankees are definitely in on Corey Kluber. Thought you were, oh, so I was telling you guys right before I woke up with a funny feeling this morning after seeing the DJ news that they're going to sign Bauer. I don't know why. I was just imagining the tweet. Well, get your, like, your dreams. I think are leading you astray lately. <laughs> Uh, Garrett Cole gave up a home run pretty early. Right, but wasn't there one after that just didn't work? Wasn't there something else? It, there, think, there was another dream. I don't remember what it was. No, this wasn't it was, a dream. This wasn't a dream. It was just a feeling. Like oh, seeing, feeling. Like, just like seeing – I could just see Yankee fans on Twitter being like, Met fans thought they were, you know, the big shots in town now. Look at – uh, now look at uh, – like, I will say there's some Yankee fans on Twitter like talking shit to the Mets because Yankees re-signed DJ. Like, look, don't fucking do that. Oh, I haven't thought about the Mets since the Lindor thing. Who gives right. a fuck like, about the Mets? Like, oh, like, like the Yankees had to resign DJ. That's that was a no brainer. Like we're not giving them, you know. I know we're talking about them right now. We're not talking about them because of that. We're talking about we're them talking because about. stupid people are talking about them. That's right. It. right. We're not being like sucker dicks. We signed DJ. Like yeah, the Yankees had to sign DJ. But the feeling I had was that if the Yankees signed Bauer, I could see Yankee fans being like Mets thought they were the big guy in town. Now look at us. We got Cole Bauer. I don't know. It was a weird feeling. Um, I kind of got myself excited for it though. I think a lot of people during this were worried um, that signing DJ would limit them for what they can do after that. Um, and that thought has kind of gone now. Um, I mean, sure, they're limited, I guess, still. Uh, but they have money to go get a starting pitcher, maybe two starting pitchers, maybe uh, you know a reliever or two. They have this, this $15 million number is massive um, for the Yankees uh, in the next couple of weeks, and hopefully Cashman gets going. You know, I I, th- I feel like, uh, you know, I, I can't imagine, like, Cashman, if it was up to him, he'd sign everybody. You know, he'd go nuts. Uh, it's all Hal. I, I think it's all Hal. So, like, I feel like when Hal sends the text, like, let's do it, like, Cashman gets all excited. He's like, oh, the, the chains have broken off me. I can do what the fuck I want now. So now, now that they, also now, like, they weren't even going to do anything until DJ decided where he was going. So uh, the fact that that's over with now, Cashman, like, ooh, he, like, everyone's going to get a phone right. call. Like, it's hey, not like that many I'm people are, are off the market. No, like nobody's right. off the market. Um, but yeah, you. I, I think we were a little. Uh, we didn't consider the Blue Jays um, as like a. I didn't at least, as I thought. You know, like who wants to play for a team doesn't even really know what the fuck they're playing in a couple months. But it does seem like he was heavily considering that four for seventy eight from the Blue Jays. The Dodgers offered four for sixty. Looks like this is all according to this is according to Pat Ragazzo, who also reported um, this the the six for ninety number like five or ten minutes before passing. So credit to this guy for getting the scoop on DJ. Maybe he's, I don't know. Maybe he's DJ's like friend or whatever. I have no clue, but um, he is all his numbers seem like they were correct. Uh, but yeah, the blue Jays written on him. The Dodgers written on him. The Braves are interested, but he stays in New York. Cashman gets his man. The Yankees get their man. DJ stays where he, where he belongs. I got, yeah. I also want to credit Glaber Torres here. He sent a few tweets over the last like couple weeks or whatever, yeah. like some emojis, or whatever. I'm going to give him some credit for pushing, Luke pushing Bull, the envelope in the other day about how bad he wants to like the, the players yeah. made it clear, like get, get DJ. Yeah. And at the end of the day, people have said this, like when the Yankees make you a priority and they say that out loud, usually works out. People, people brought up Cano. I know Hoke brought up Cano. 
Um, I feel like but I think, was never actually that much of a priority. Th- yeah, I don't think they really cared too much. And they definitely, definitely didn't publicly say it. They definitely made an offer. But uh, once the Mariners went above and beyond, they were like, okay, well, fuck this. These guys are out of their minds. And obviously that contract never even came close to working out. Um, but, you know, with this, when they say they're going to get their man, they get their man and they got him. Thank God. Big um, L, uh, monkey off. What's the, what's the, I can't. Monkey off the back. Monkey off the back. Um, so, yeah, uh, ecstatic. Uh, let's move on. Let's go get Kluber. Let's go get a reliever. Um, let's get another star. Maybe bring back Massa. Uh, but I'm ecstatic. Every Yankee fan should be ecstatic here. Um, this is a dude who finished the top five MVP voting the last two years. He's been just a, the perfect Yankee, and he's going to stay a Yankee. Um, and I don't have to see this dude. The thought of seeing him in another uniform was literally going to make me vomit. Uh, so we have to avoid that, thank God. Um, and, yeah, um, I don't know if you got anything else, Tommy, TJ, but this is nice little emergency want, pod. Yeah. They better not be done. You know, no, like we not. sort of said this a few weeks ago where we were like, they're setting the bar so low that we're going to go nuts just when they sign DJ. But they need to now get better. They've I think Kluber's – I, I, I would be stunned. I, that's too silly I to mean, say. I Kluber is not enough to me. Like, just Kluber? No, but – no, no, no. It's not – it wouldn't just be Kluber. But that's nice because there's yeah. potential there. If he can get over his injury problems when he's healthy, he's a fucking – like, two years ago, he's a Cy Young candidate. You know? So, Brandon so, Cuddy just tweeted, the talk between Kluber and the Yankees has been a one-year deal. I'm told all he wants is a one-year deal. He wants to go out and prove yeah. himself. Yeah. He, I, I think what he's looking for is just a major, league, a guaranteed major league deal. You know, I feel like a lot of people are going to be worried yeah. about, um, um, you know, health obviously and giving him like a guaranteed deal. And they want to give him like a minor league deal with a spring training invite. He don't want that. He wants a major league contract for one year, prove himself, and then get a bigger number next year. It makes perfect sense. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm totally on board with that. I would love that. Um, bring in the bot. Um, just, just get us a vet. Like a single vet right now. We got yeah. no, we got Domingo, Clark, um, Montgomery, Davey. Like, it's just, it's thin. It's like, besides Cole, we need it. We need another guy. Um, team up with Cressy and Blake again. I'd be all on board. Uh, but the big news today, obviously, DJ's back. Everyone go get yourself a drink. We, we all deserve it. Get yourself, get yourself a Miller Light. Great tasting, less filling Miller Light. You guys earned it through all this, this bullshit that we went through the last few months where he should have been signed in November. Um, but yeah, and shout out Hoke because maybe maybe us interviewing Hoke, everyone was like, "Oh, the Cash, Cashman Howard, like fuck, they're getting Hoke on, yeah. they're they're really they're they're getting pissed." That's we'll, probably what it was. Yeah, they're like, "Let's let's please them, let's let's end this bullshit right now." So I mean, it would have been a fan revolt if they did not get DJ. I mean, yeah, the whole the old Cashman quote about um, trading Glaber a couple of years ago. He said, "I got to walk around this town," you know, yeah. same type of same type of deal here. Um, so yeah, I'm ecstatic. Um, our, our intern Ovi, uh, the YouTube dude had like a 10, uh, had a whole like graphic clip ready to go on YouTube about our interview with Hoke about DJ. Just got to scrap that. He hasn't responded to my text. So hopefully he doesn't post that at noon. Um, and just post this, <laughs> but tough, tough for the intern life there. Uh, but other than that, great day. Great day to be a Yankee fan. Let's move on. We're not, you know, we, we don't get laughed at. This would have been so bad. I don't know how I would have spun this. It would have been a disaster. So, um, deep breaths. Uh, emergency pod DJ's back with the Yankees we'll see you back here next week later nice. 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 Nice.